So in this video, we're gonna smell a lot of things. You will see that in a minute. What's going on guys? So today's video, you may have recognized my special guest from last year. Who are you? Hello, I'm Michael, and I'm so happy that we are here. We're doing this again. Yeah, but this is... time we're actually doing it in person. Mm -hmm. So Michael was actually on my channel last year where I actually sent him some fragrances from Greggy Boy's website. Uh, I'm gonna get it wrong. Fragrance Samples UK or something like that. But we're actually here in Atlanta. You always say I that know. <laughs> but we're actually here in Atlanta, and because Michael your, your fashion is a little bit different. Uh -huh. It's a little artistic, if you will. Uh -huh. I'm actually gonna get Michael to smell the house of zoologist. Now, a lot of you guys are very familiar that zoologist is an artistic type of house. They produce some very different fragrances. And I think that Michael, I think that this house would actually suit your personality okay. and your tastes, okay? okay? Okay. So the theme with zoologists is that they all have different animals mm -hmm. on their products. Mm -hmm. So I got every single fragrance from their catalog. So mm -hmm. I think I've got 12 or 13 here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do the smell and rate and where you choose which one is the ultimate winner, all right? Let's do this. All right, <laughs> so the first one, since I got two here, the first one is gonna be macaque. So it's just a little monkey there. Well, show us also what's inside because inside they've got some graphics as well and things yeah, like that. Yeah, so the, it's the, actually a beautifully designed product. That's why I wanted so to show. So it's a very different. Uh, the 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 presentation on these are fantastic. Now, mm. um, I'm not a fan of the house. They but they mm. produce some really good scents, but. It's an acquired taste, mm. uh, a taste that it's not really for me, but a lot of people really do like this. Now, okay, so this is macaque, all right? Mm -hmm. So you oh, got that oh, one. Oh, Jesus, that's strong. Okay, and all of these are perfume concentration. So wow. eau what de does parfum. That mean? What does so, that mean? So you got eau de cologne, eau de toilette, which is your normal. Mm -hmm. Then you got this. Wow, then this got, is strong. Okay. Very masculine, very strong. It actually, a bit sort of okay and then mm -hmm. we're gonna put it paired off against camel okay all right oh. wow but I... mm -hmm. and i got mm -hmm. test strips for these because a lot of people saying that the tissue that i use is not good enough oh okay okay so camel versus oh macaque. geez that's Which a one? lot sweeter this is apparently this is a, a a really good seller for my friend victor this is the winner. Okay, so... So that's out. Okay, gets knocked out. So. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I could wear that. All right. Wow. All right, so the next fragrance is actually gonna be Hummingbird. Okay. All right, so most of these are all unisex, mm -hmm. but some may be female fragrances. Now, this is actually the last one that I did for my channel. And this was actually my favorite from the entire house. Okay, okay, so hummingbird versus camel. Which one do you prefer? Uh, I think it smells similar to a Hugo Boss of some sort from wow. a few years ago. Okay, I never would have thought of that. Um, I remember it must have been at least five years ago. And I'm, okay, mm, yeah, because I'm familiar with this. But which one do you prefer? Do you yeah. prefer the camel I think, or do you prefer the hummingbird? I think I, I, I because this is new. The camel is new. Okay. Hummingbird is, I think, yeah, it kind of smells familiar. Would your wife like to, like this? Yeah, I think so, yes. Uh, okay, all yes. right. <laughs> I think, yeah, if you ask women, they're going to have different perceptions of, of like, you know, Very we want to have this and, you know, we're masculine. Very true. So this yes. is actually the first release from the house. Okay. And that is Beaver. Beaver, okay. I believe this is the first release Believer. of the house. Believer, be be Beaver. Yeah, okay. Let's <laughs> not go there. Canada's okay. national animal, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so, so have, you, have you actually tested them all and tried them all um, for most, yourself? So the last one I tried was Hummingbird and that was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, as I stated, the company is not really towards my tastes. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I personally cannot pull them off. But a lot of people in the community, our fragrance community, love these fragrances. They're just not according to my taste. This They're is, not bad, I just, I, I'm yeah, not crazy about This smells them. artificial, very sort of, 
like lots of chemicals in it. I know you said it's, it's okay. not, but that's how it sort of smells like. It smells... What I'm getting is I'm definitely getting that animalistic feel from mm. that. Now, I don't know mm. if this is the reformulated version because the, 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 the original version had castorium. Mm -hmm. So you know what castorium is? Mm. I think you mentioned that before. It's the, the gland of a beaver's butt. Mm. So, Which is... But they, they, Victor made, reformulated it and made it a lot more fresher and appealing. So I don't know if this is the reformulated version or not. I think it's okay in a sense that you can still pull it off. But if I, if I smell someone wearing this in the shopping mall, I'll be like, no, I think he's, I think he should change his fragrance. Okay. So I'm assuming now that Camel's going on to the next one. Yes. All right, then. I need to check again with Camel. Yes. <laughs> this All right. is amazing. I so love this. let's open up this pack and we'll wait for those ones there. Okay, so what have we got? Are they like different animals because of like different sort of okay, groups? Okay, so, so Victor, are they group? so Victor uh, loves animals. Mm -hmm. So zoologists. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. after the zoo. Mm -hmm. So they're all based on animal mm -hmm. products. So this one here is going to be rhinoceros. All right, so that's presentation here. I, I, I love the presentation. What's this sort of story inside? Does it tell you like how, what you'd expect from, yeah, from it? Or it gives like a little storyline behind each one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, Michael actually has a pack, of, an unopened pack of zoologists that I already gave him. So. Oh, oh this is. I smell it. Oh my God. Oh, you like it? This is super strong. Like that it is. You would have to have a one puff and you'll be like done this for is a, hours. This is a masculine fragrance. Wow. But do you like it? It's hard. It's hard to say because I can, I can think from one point, um, part of me saying this is like strong masculine. I'm going somewhere. Boom. Mm -hmm. I'm on a, you know. Yes. Like a, win something. Like a testosterone yeah. male. Shit. Um, and the camel is... Yeah, it's very much like nice, you know, everyone likes you kind of thing. Whereas this one is they, they either like you or they don't. But There's something about it because um, it also reminds me of like, you know, mechanic shop or some sort of re car repair shop. Okay. Um, which okay. is, you know, which is that, that sort of smell. But like in, in, in the packages, wow. they have the, uh, the notes written down, so. No, camel. Oh, okay. All right then. Oh my God. That was strong. So like, let's. What, what, what made it so strong? Like, why was it like? Was um, there an ingredient? Well, there's different. Like, okay, so um, the hummingbird had more floral notes, mm -hmm. honey, had some fruits, mm -hmm. and the rhinoceros had like tobacco. It had rum. Uh -huh. It had uh, ah. maybe some incense. So okay. I'm not sure, but it, it definitely had like a boozy core to it, along with some leather. But this one in here is nightingale. So this one here, okay. um, the perfume is actually going to be a little bit stronger. So this is an extra de parfum. So you have, Which is what? It's a higher, I believe it's a higher concentration of uh, oil. Like, mm -hmm. like I said, you got your... So does that basically mean uh, for, for me and for all uneducated people um, that it's going to last longer? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not like some people will... Like, okay, so some people, mm. as an example, will get 15 hours of this, mm. and some people will get maybe four hours. So mm. everybody's skin chemistry is uh, different. Sure. All right? So do you oh. like Nightingale, or do you like the Camel? Um, what does it smell like? It smells familiar. What is that smell? Like, I could smell some notes in it. Um, it reminds me of um, of a good night's sleep. That's what it. That's what it. That's that's what it sort of brings, as if you would wear that during for the evening or for night okay. out or things like that. You you come home. You Don't have mind the noise. We're actually at Menpulential, so <laughs> it's fine. So which one no, goes on? Camel. Okay. <laughs> camel. Right, camel is money. My people. All right, so we're going to pair it off against elephant. Elephant. Right? Strong. Let's see. Yeah, well, just by the name of it, you... you yeah, you would expect. Yes, with some of these huh. names, you could kind of assume whether it's going to be more of a gentle, subtle fragrance or if it's going to be more of a masculine type of scent. So, oh. elephant or... or uh, right, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but I smell and sense some... Um, 
like cucumber kind of uh, um, tastes in a uh, very sort of uh, I would say veggie kind of taste. It's, it's, a, it's a you get the green. So uh, according to this, tree leaves, Darjeeling tea, and magnolia would be the top notes. So you're definitely getting that green. Wow! Fruit. Wow! Why do you, Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> but camel or elephant? Elephant is good, but you kind of feel as if you are eating sort of kale salad all day long. Okay. Yeah. So which one was Camel. That? Camel stays. Okay. All right then. So. <laughs> you should have. Yeah, we should have not started with camel. So uh, let's go with. Mm -hmm. Civet. Okay. So uh, I'm not saying anything about yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. But I've seen some of the videos and <laughs> you may be in for a surprise, you may not be, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So okay. Civet. Oh, that's, that's again. They are all so d fundamentally different, you know? Those... Yes. Yes. Wow. Every, every fragrance has its own story. Has, mm -hmm. has its own theme. And these are very unique, very interesting, um, very artistic. I like that one. You like it? It's, uh, it's different, you know? It's different. But if you sm smell this one, this is camel, right? Yeah. And it's super sweet, super nice, it, sort of kind of it has more, safe, it's, it's, I would say. Yes, that's a very good word to, to explain. Whereas this one is intriguing. I'd go for this one. Camel goes. Okay, so since it finally got knocked out, uh, I believe Victor said that this is one of his best sellers at the moment. So because it's it's actually intriguing. The, the smell of it is kind of um, you don't know where to put it. Whether it's it's sort of nice, whether it's whether it's winter, whether it's summer, whether it's night, whether it's day. Okay. You would definitely notice if someone is wearing this. You'd be like. Okay, okay, I, I, you know, who's this guy? Who's, who's, who's wearing this? It's right, very you know? distinct. So the next one is actually wow. going to be Panda. So we have three left, including this mm, one. Okay. All right. I wonder how this tiny room that we're here in, how it's going to smell like when we open it again. People are going to be I like, know. what are we doing here? It's all we, good, we, it's all we good. We closed the door, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, maybe with any luck, Aaron Marina will will come in and he's like, okay, what the hell, guys? <laughs> right. Oh, this is very peachy. Okay. I, I don't know, that's, that's me. You, you get a fruity nuance mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but this is, you can probably buy this elsewhere from someone else easily and you would not know that that's their smell. Like, okay, maybe. Because, it's, because it's kind of, again, safe, common, Nah, okay. I would say okay. But you prefer the, the Sivet? Yes, yeah, Sivet, definitely. Alright, so Panda gets knocked out. And the last two, let's go with... The, the Sivet is it's just different, like guys. Wow. Dragonfly. Dragonfly, okay. Now, a lot of these, I will admit, I have never smelled before. Mm -hmm. uh, again, just because the fragrances are not to my taste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, they're very unique, very different. Doesn't mean they're bad, they're just, it's not something that I could pull off myself. So, Dragonfly or Civet? Which one do you prefer? Dragonfly um, smells like nothing. Like, it doesn't. Okay, and, and, and it's, mind, it's you, okay. And mind mm -hmm. you, you're just getting like a very first impression, so mm. you have to let it dry down for like a good 30 minutes type of thing. Yeah, but, but we don't have the time for that. Correct. And it's. Uh, and also, I mean, you obviously spray it on yourself. You have to, yes. when, you, when you walk about, that's probably going to change as well on yes. you. And, and obviously. Well, and what smell, like it smells great on you, but it smells bad on me. Mm. So it really is your skin. Yeah, chemistry. the dragonfly is okay. Nothing spectacular. All right, so Civet. And the last one, all right? So the last one is going to be Bat. Okay. So, so it's bats or civets. So bats who, versus... Who would win that? Who would win that fight in Ooh, the real life? Who knows? I'm not sure if that's clean, so let's just get this one. I need to keep smelling the civet just so I remember how it smells like. Okay. Because we already have got so much going on here. So before we get mm -hmm. to see who the winner is, mm -hmm. I gotta hold up... Oh wow. I know. This one is... 
very different. All right. So the winner, which one is the best from the house of zoologist? Savet or bat? Bats. Bat is the winner. Now, why do you like this one? Um, it's, I smell. I smell it right now. Yeah, I, I think Savet is, 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 is literally inches away from, from winning. But okay. But I but think bat has got uh, has opening. got something. Else. I think it has got like a deeper sort of taste to it in a, in a way that civet you can you can sort of smell like one note and it, like okay this is that whatever that is. Okay. Whereas whereas in the, in in the bats you can kind of have got edges around it. So now, you, you've got like more, more notes I would say. So with this one here, it actually is supposed to smell like a bat cave. You get the the wet dirt, the soil. You know what? The banana. It makes sense. Yeah. So the top notes for this one would be like banana, you get soft fruits, you get damp earth, uh, hard is How fig, do they know this? tropical fruits. I forget who, who created this, but the people who created this and Victor, I will admit, are geniuses when it comes to perfumery. They know their stuff. Uh, the house is just not for me, but they like creativity, creativity wise, they are one of the best. I mean, the whole package is the whole story oh, and, around and it. and the presentation and the themes are, I've never seen something like that. And I'm actually happy to call Victor a friend of mine. He's actually mm. from Toronto, Canada. Mm. So. Hello, Victor. Thank you so much for giving me a chance to he's, smell it. He's going to enjoy the package that he's got. Thank so. you so much. So the winner's bat. Bat. All right. So Michael, thank you very much Chad, for doing this video. Pleasure. So thank what I'm so going to do is I'm going to attach all of Michael's social media down below. So Michael's channel uh, caters to fashion, which I could probably use a little bit of an upgrade myself. But we'll take care of that, don't worry. <laughs> so guys, thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Thank you.